meet the new X50 performance. So specifically, this is the performance model and I think it's been a while since Proton did something of a hot version of a car since the GTI or the R3. So the performance comes with a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine with a little bit of an extra ohm. So 170 odd PS and 250 Newton meters from a 1.5 litre three cylinder engine, which is kind of interesting. Now the new X50, Proton has packed it with a lot of goodies and tech and for the value because of that, it's going to appeal to so many people but today for me, I'm more interested to see what this is like to drive because let's be honest, there hasn't been a very interesting Proton for a while and I think the Neo was launched I think like almost a decade ago now and this, this is a really really new proposition and of course now with Proton's new partnership with Geely, they have proposed this, this X50. So um, outlook wise, now this is going to be the one that is going to appeal to so many people. Let's look at the outlook. I love the two-tone uh, exterior. So you get colored uh, body plus a black roof. And um, I think this is kind of cool uh, touch by Proton because this red line here reminds me a bit of a GTI, which I don't know if that's only available for the uh, hot performance model. But yeah, overall, look at the shape. I mean, people are starting to enjoy more and more of this compact crossover slash SUV thingy. So it's really, really up a lot of people's stream. And if you look from the back, I think the pack is really, really good looking. And um, it's okay. There's one thing I have to complain. I do not particularly like the fact that this thing comes with four tailpipes, which I think is a little bit too much for a 1.5 litre three cylinder car come on but overall the outlook is really good it comes with LEDs all around the lights are very very good looking and yeah it's gonna appeal to so many people okay so beyond everything if you like the X50 on the outside you guys are gonna like it even more on the inside come let me show you guys Okay, so first and foremost, you get digital screen, which is, let's be honest, if truly Proton's gonna mark this thing below 100,000 ringgit, that's a lot of value. And I think a lot of people are gonna appreciate the fact that this thing comes jam-packed with technology. Um, as a driver, I really like the fact that it comes with flat bottom steering, because I think uh, it's quite nice uh, to hold. The steering wheel is quite nice to hold. The cockpit is, uh, I would say the driving position isn't so bad. Uh, Protons of old isn't really that great. They're not truly made for people who enjoy driving. I'm so sorry uh, for being a little bit too blunt. Of course, underneath the X50 is a China-made Geely. But hey, Geely is cracking at things. And if I'm honest with you, that isn't a bad thing at all. So look at all these little buttons. It comes with jam-packed with a lot of things like, for example, 360 camera all around. You've got sport mode, eco mode. I love the gear lever. It's quite funky and it's quite nice to touch. Um, the interior comes two-tone. So you get black interior with red leather. And um, this is a little bit of an expensive exotic car touch right here because at the top of the dashboard is red leather. So I find that kind of cool. And as well as you get panoramic roof which is cool and um, if you guys are used to new Proton I'm just gonna say check this out hi Proton open okay. open sunroof okay the sunroof has been opened for you that's so cool if I'm honest this is really really cool and uh, it's gonna appeal to so many different people especially the youngsters X50 performance version decent performance there's a little bit of throttle lag I drove it on the slalom earlier and um, the chassis is quite agile I quite like the way the rear rotates for an SUV I think it's really really good however uh, when we did the performance test and the drag race next to the HRV and the X1 there was a little bit of throttle lag so at the end of the run the X50 was quicker than both these cars but off the line it was a little bit slow the hrv the na hrv went off the line much quicker but then again i believe there's a little bit of throttle lag but because this is turbo i think there's going to be a lot of tuners or tuning potential coming up 
so that's something going to be really cool in the future so that's a quick roundup of the new Proton X50 performance we've done the slalom test we've done the performance test and we've also gone around the track around Sepang to feel what is this new X50 performance is all about on track and to see the performance and his handling and uh, let's be honest I really think it's really amazing for the package and for the deal that Proton is tentatively marking at below 100k so yep that's a quick walk around hope you enjoyed that video do subscribe to noiko.co for more videos to come and yes welcome the new Proton X50 performance to Malaysia